Right, so in this video I'm going to show you my collection of puzzle accessories, starting off with the cube mats. So here we have a, uh, an MF8 cube mat. The funny thing is with this camera, it kind of makes, like these cube mats in real life, they are rectangular, whereas on camera they look more square shaped when I show them like that. If I put the camera a lot more further back and then zoom in, then they do look more rectangular, like how they do in real life, but then it's awkward to record the video, so whatever. But yeah, so there is a, an MFA China Cube Club Speed Cube Mat. Another MFA China Cube Club Cube Mat. A Maru Cube Mat. Another Maru cube mat. So these two Maru ones are a bit smaller than the MF8 ones. Now we've got some even smaller Maru ones. So here's another one. And another. Alright, so onto the timers. I've only got two of them. Here is a QJ timer. And I think this is a Z cube timer and it doesn't work properly. Alright, so now it's time for the pouches. I've acquired most of my pouches by just getting freebies with uh, puzzle orders. So here is a Champions Cube Store timer pouch. Another Champions Cube Store timer pouch. A small black pouch. Two small purple pouches, a Rubik's Cube pouch which feels very very furry, a Cuborg pouch, a Rubik's pouch, quite a nice looking one this one, a Smaz pouch, a Diane pouch and I'm really really pleased that I've got a few Diane pouches because these are just so rare now. I think maybe these could be from the early 2010s, I'm not really sure. Another Diane pouch and another Diane pouch. A Calvin's Puzzle HK Now Star pouch pouch that I got from Taobao, uh, HYM F cubes, a Pi cube pouch, I think this might be another Pi cube pouch although it doesn't say Pi cube on it, I think Pi cube is a user on Taobao, a puzzle.co.uk pouch, An orange pouch which I don't think has anything on it. Two Mafets pouches. I think this is a Cube Twist pouch. I'm sure that's Cube Twist's logo. Dismantle, dismantle it and try. A pretty worn light take pouch. Another light tape pouch and another light tape pouch. Two yellow pouches. They kind of look a bit different from each other, the shape of them. A red pouch and a blue pouch. A magic eye net pouch. Another magic eye net pouch and another magic eye net pouch. These seem to be three 
blank Champions Cube Store pouch. So usually with Champions Cube Store pouches, they've got Champions Cube Store written on them, but these are just blank ones. A grey Champions Cube Store pouch. Another grey Champions Cube Store pouch. Another grey Champions Cube Store pouch. Another grey Champions Cube Store pouch. And another grey Champions Cube Store pouch. A blank purple Champions Cube Store pouch. A purple Champions Cube Store pouch. Another purple Champions Cube Store pouch. Another purple Champions Cube Store pouch. Another purple Champions Cube Store pouch. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. I think this is another blank Champions Cube Store pouch. So onto the slightly bigger Champions Cube Store pouches, a blue one. Another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. And can you guess what's coming next? That's right, another one. So here we have a pretty big Champions Cube Store pouch there in grey. A Cube View pouch. A bigger Cube View pouch. Another Cube View pouch. And another Cube View pouch. Which has these nice uh, tassels on it. These like little metal blocks with a Cube View logo on them. And then we have these two pretty big bags. I think this one came from Very Puzzle. The shame about these kinds of bags is like the material because when it gets creases in it, and it's quite easy for them to get creases in them, I don't think there's any way to get rid of the creases. And lastly, we have a Calvin's puzzle bag. It's pretty big, this one. I guess you can just kind of wear it as a backpack or whatever. Alright, so now it's time for the cube stands. Here is a lime green cube stand. Another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. I think this one is a Hishu stand. A Moyu cube stand. Not sure if you can see the details on it, there you go. Another Moyo cube stand. An orange Moyo cube stand. A red Moyo cube stand. A pink Moyo cube stand. Another one. And another and another and another and another a clear Moe cube stand a Yushin stand a cube twist stand another cube twist stand a Danchang stand, another Danchang stand with a slightly different uh, font maybe, I don't know, the, the logo and the writing it just kind of looks a bit different. Another Danchang stand, a clear stand and another clear stand, a Moyu stand 
another Mayu stand, a Marie Cube stand, another one, and another one, a Calvin's Puzzle stand, another Calvin's Puzzle stand, a Cube for You stand, a Moser stand, a white stand. I think all of these stands that have like these arches, whatever colour they are, I think they are Shengshao stands. So there's another white one, and another, and another, and another. A Calvin's puzzle stand. Another white stand, a Hishu stand, a QJ stand. I'm not sure how well that's showing up on camera. A Super Square One stand, a pink Super Square One stand. That's showing up a lot better than how it does on the white one pink cube stand an i3mf.com stand a champions cube star stand an edison cube stand I think maybe these stands were given out at some uh, speed cubing championship in 2007 unless I'm just remembering things completely wrong that could be a load of crap I don't know a yellow Edison cube stand a yellow Moya cube stand a black cube stand that's got a big crack in it I've got no idea how that has happened because this has just been in storage in a box with, with the other stands for a very long time so I've got no idea how that's happened. A Yongjung stand. A Gujia stand. A Rubik's stand. Another Rubik's stand, a black stand, another black stand, another black stand, another black stand, and another black stand. A Claire Whedon stand, bit of a strange shaped stand this one, don't know if you can see the Whedon uh, writing on there. Another one, another one, kind of got a strange shape on top as well, and another one. A Young Jun stand for the Diamond 3x3 shape mod. A Method stand, this will be for like a ball shaped puzzle or an egg shaped puzzle. A very puzzle snow mystery stand. This also doubles as a puzzle, but it's so easy that it just kind of seems a bit pointless as a, as a puzzle to me. And then we've got some Moses stands, which were basically part of the puzzles packaging, and I thought they'd just be quite cool to to, uh, to keep. They've gone quite yellow now. Uh, they don't look that yellow on camera, but in real life they are quite yellow. And we've got another one. This is a bit different, you can see the shape there, so they are kind of slightly different from each other. And then we have another one which kind of reminds me of an ashtray. And then lastly we have this intellect ball stand which plays horrible music when you put an intellect ball on it and it has different coloured lights as well.
pretty loud, no volume control on it. Okay, so on to the last two things. Here we have a Calvin's blind solving mask. And a box full of some stuff. Let's take a closer look at this. So this is an old Ferrero Rocher box and you can see I've put some uh, Cuban stickers on this. Well, except for that, that came with uh, some kind of like croissants with like a chocolate kind of cream in the middle. So you can see we've got Cube Twist logo there, Cube Smith, Diane Hishu, Calvin's Puzzle Moser, uh, YJ Square One and Maru. And I think we've got a few more stickers on it somewhere. We've got a diamond on there. Another smiley face. Yeah, let's take a look inside. So in here I put like spare parts and just all sorts of different things. So here we've got a few uh, magic strings. Because the, the strings can break quite easily on magics. I think they might be different lengths, the strings. So I've, I've labelled them. So I know which magics they'll definitely fit. So we've got Master Magic there. That's for a Lingao uh, magic. That's for the Chess Super Master Magic. And we've got some uh, some toothpicks there. They can just be handy for for certain kind of things, like if you're trying to like fix a puzzle or whatever. And somehow a, a pamphlet has made its way into here for snakes. And we've got some pieces uh, which go inside a snake. We've got a uh, sticker peeler there. A freebie screwdriver. Um, I think these are from the MFA cuboid which locked up internally. So I've got, I got the uh, the pieces to modify it, and I've modified it, and these are the pieces that I've taken out of it. I'm, I'm sure that's correct anyway. <clears throat> Here we've got some more um, snake internal pieces, magic snakes. And we've got this uh, sticker from Oliver's Stickers. Happy holidays from Oliver's Stickers. This was on an envelope, and I thought it'd be quite nice to, to kind of get, so it's got like, some of the paper from the envelope is still stuck on it. I thought one day it'd be quite nice to just kind of get the paper off it somehow, maybe some WD for it, and then maybe I could just kind of uh, put something sticky on it or whatever and, and stick it onto the box. I don't know. You know, it looks quite nice. So, so I printed this out because I wanted to know what order the colours go in for the uh, the Hungarian the Olympic Hungarian rings. So I know, you know, where to put the colours when I'm solving it. Here's some Maru Lou. Some spare pieces in here. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, so we've got some spare leftover pieces from a, uh, a Zanshi DIY there. We've got part of a, an edge and one of the torpedoes there just extra pieces and um, we've got another extra piece there that's from the uh, the tie on and we've got a spare stock for the yj apple 3x3 shape mod and then we've got something that can be put onto a keychain puzzle Here we've got a load of leftover screws. I think these are the screws that I bought to assemble the Radio Cube 3, uh, which it was. It is a. Uh, it's 3D printed. I got it from Shapeways. It was just all disassembled. You had to buy your own screws. I think you had to buy springs for it as well. A uh, spare screwdriver there. That wasn't a freebie, that's from a screwdriver set. Some more Mario Lube. Looks like milk. I think Mario Lube is really, really great. It just doesn't, when you put it into your cube, you know, the cube performs really, really well, in my opinion, but it doesn't last for that long. Like after, you know, quite a lot of solves or after it's been on the cube for like, say, maybe a week or more, it starts to kind of not be that effective anymore. 
Here we've got some tiny screws and like some stickers that I fell off puzzles. So I've just like found them in like um, in the tubs that I keep my puzzles in. Not sure exactly which puzzles these have fallen off, but I've just put them into this bag. And when I do eventually come across the puzzles that these stickers have fallen off, I can just you know I'll see there's missing stickers on them. I can check to see if these stickers are the actual missing ones and put them back on if they are. I've got a core and some springs and screws for a 3x3. Three three. Got some springs that I bought for the Master Master Square one, I think it's called, 3D printed. Some more leftover uh, screwdrivers from the screwdriver set. Some more parts for magic snakes. And we've got a stubby screwdriver there. A, like, a tool for Calvin's, um, I think it's called a gear octahedron, so it's you can turn the corners with your finger and thumb, but I guess this kind of makes it easier. And then we've got, these are kind of like fake little jewels, like plastic jewels, you've got a star there, and something else. Um, I think maybe these have fallen off a 3x3, three three. but yeah, so that is pretty much it. That is my collection of puzzle accessories. Thanks for watching.